Hi everybody, this is Anthony from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I've got a little, yeah, it's not the same. It's Friday afternoon and I thought we will play today. So I've got some scraps that I was cutting some stuff out of and um, I'm not sure where I left it, but we are going to do loaded envelopes today so these are made with my envelope uh, punch but the hole in one or something like that um, and these are made from five by five pieces of uh, dye and uh, coffee dyed I think it's got 120 GSM 128 GSM so I made these here from that now I'm not going to show you how to make the envelopes because there's lots of videos on that and I have a video on it as well okay and then these are some die cuts I have that I'm going to be using so they're like you're doing loaded envelopes okay and then I got a whole mishmash of stuff here little pieces and big pieces of ephemera some stamps uh, some die cuts uh, some um, what's these here? Butterflies, flowers, labels. Yes, uh, you know, things like that. So bring out your bits and bobs and let's start creating. Okay, so that's what today is all about. There is absolutely no, you know, formal way of what I want to go through today. So I just thought I would do something fun today. Okay. Um, yeah, so firstly Find your envelopes. You don't have to make envelopes if you have envelopes as well that you want to decorate then go for it Just decorate them. Okay, so um, I Might stop the video at any point because it's just not uh, going to be for example um, You know a process video or anything. It's just probably uh, realizing as well that we can sit and we can create what we want to create doesn't always have to be a reason for doing it doesn't always have to be a process involved in doing it okay so firstly how would I put them in my journal I would put them like this in my journal I would stick them up in my journal like that on you know the sides or I can stick, sorry, wrong. Uh, I will stick all four sides together and leave uh, uh, what you call it, four sides together and then stick this probably in my journal because they loaded pockets. Or I can put it in the journal spine like this and that can be my loaded pocket. So this will sit on this, this fold here will sit on the spine. Or I can glue it on three sides and make that a pocket in there or that a pocket in there. So. Or I can put a really big tag in here, okay? Uh, kind of, let's see if we have anything. No, we don't have anything. Okay, let's just say this was a tag. Pretend you can have a really big tag which sticks out like that as well. Okay, so we can do that as well. Okay, so that's it. And um, you can use the little ones to embellish your pockets. You can use them to add on uh, dangles or you can use them to add on to your page tabs <coughs> really you know uh, to put on your belly bands any way that you want to embellish okay uh, your tuck spots uh, side tucks and stuff like that you can do that okay so you don't even have to ink all the the stuff up because some of it you're going to glue and then some of it you are going to ink ah you see oh no there's that there's that page and uh, this one here that page that little bit of a difference in the corner around it okay so those are the two on these ones over here now i you can use uh what's this these were dies and they really really tiny dies and they're great i buy a lot of tiny dies simply because when you have scraps okay 
you can use these tiny dies to cut instead of throwing away your scraps use these tiny dies to cut <coughs> from your scraps and they you actually making good use of your scraps as well okay so that's why i buy a lot of tiny dies i'm going to show this one to you just now but i think i may have shown it to you in a previous video i can't remember but i'll show it to you again the only problem with these <coughs> yeah is that they're not giving you the best of you know like folds let me show you those quickly i put them away but i'm going to bring them out So that's how they look now they fit perfectly on scraps um what would they measure if we have to measure them about eight centimeters by six six and a seven or in inches they are about three inches by what's it two and three quarter or so yeah so they're kind of nice to use with your scraps okay now this one here is one with um the uh what's this this is book pages yes yeah, so i'm struggling on these ones especially because the lights are on to be able to see where i need to fold them so I might actually be folding them on the wrong places here. So just remember that uh, you shouldn't be having this problems. Uh, the lights are uh, shining bright over here. So I can't really see all the crease edges. And then also the fact that these don't have, uh, you know, the most beautiful <laughs> or most distinct, not beautiful, distinct creases. Okay, so that's another one there and then these ones here but I'm not going to fold these ones here simply because we are going to decorate them okay so <laughs> let's see how far we go um, on these here so let's bring out our stamps and I think we'll work one at a time so you know at a particular point in time I'm gonna say okay I think we can call this done okay gosh really that one and that one so let's take that one out <laughs> let's take that out yeah so my desk is busy because i've got quite a bit of of you know ephemera that i want to use over here so you might be able to see some of them that i want to use okay so let's see if that is how it's going to look here then obviously you know maybe we must glue this now because we know how it's going to lie in our journal when I can find the glue don't know where it is it's hiding it's hiding it's hiding right at the bottom oh <laughs> it's hiding and it's making life very difficult and it's probably not going to work we'll try it okay because the nib was out yeah so i hope you had a good week and that uh you are ready to start this weekend uh it is as i mentioned friday evening of here <coughs> give me a second oh i'm so sorry <laughs> we just had to run for a while so i'm just gonna glue this and i'm right because this thing is all dried up here so i'm I didn't use it for a while, so 
and it was left unprotected so it's going to be a problem so we are going to just glue that in so that sticks on it and then glue that there like that and that there like that kind of right so that's done <coughs> so now we can stamp on it and I'm thinking I'm thinking that maybe we must just stamp with I wonder if I have brown <coughs> I do I have vintage photo out let's try that And it doesn't need to be perfect. So we just continue stamping now. Uh, maybe we won't use this one. Maybe we will use something like this. So a little bit on the background maybe. And then, you know, take it from, no, that's too light now. And maybe we want to put something inside here like that oh uh, that looks horrible but thankfully for us since it's a loaded pocket we can change it up and let's add this again okay but let's get the bottom part Okay, and then maybe we want to add something on the top here as well. Like that. Actually, that looks nice. All right, so now we're not worried about the front because remember the front is going to be stuck down. And then, now let's decorate. Let's have some fun decorating this. Uh, what should we add this is always the part that gets me what should I add okay so I forgot to take out some book pages uh, to work with um, and I always like book pages and music sheets so let's see what I have over here that can work working off my table oh working off my table okay so maybe something like this over here like that yeah well that fits quite perfectly so that's great and then let's see what else we can add this book allows for us to see quite a few things here you know like random pieces so let's open this out and let's see what we have over here okay so oops you can see it just falls out so that can go there maybe this uh, can go here like that like this I don't know you can see now hey I don't have any way of what I want to do I'm just I'm flying by the seat of my pants and let's see for a flower if we have a flower that can match it um, in pink I don't know maybe something like that thing uh, I don't know here maybe no I like it there <clears throat> and then let's see let's put some labels on it and some washi okay washi and labels what should we use what should we use okay now I'm taking my time uh, 
Oh, this goes this way. That's all the better. Goes that way. <clears throat> and let's add some washi to it. Ah, uh, washi. Can you see the? Can you see everything on my table? There's a lot going on here. A lot, but uh, keeping it real. Keeping it real, so you can see. Uh, you know, especially when you're doing something like this, you kind of bring everything to the front. And I know I took out my washi. There's, it here. There's some washi here. And let's add this some washi to it, okay? <clears throat> I will add this washi here. If we can get it to where it can open. So I might want to add this piece of washi, keep that piece for something else. Okay, so let's get this down here. So we're going to add this first here. Now it is a bit difficult to kind of decorate this simply because there's like two parts to it, this part and that part. So we're going to see whether we can bring it all together. Okay, and then some glue. Here. We'll try to keep this white part clean. And our fingers clean. Now let's bring it a little down. Ah, and then don't forget that you need to rip it as well, okay? <laughs> now I'm joking. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, oh, oh. So sorry. This wasn't supposed to be the first piece. This was supposed to be the first piece. Because we wanted to block that straight edge of the flower. like that like that problem situation under control right and then we would want to put some washi but I think I want that washi to go across kind of like like that there like that okay <coughs> excuse me like that then I want to add this here this label and let's get this glue for it yeah so it's just plain hey nothing nothing more than plain today oh come on really like all these glues are seizing up on me. And see, I need to clean this, so I need to put another tip on it. Wonder why this one was closed. And I'm using like so many bits of, so many different pieces of glue, I mean, containers of glue so I'm thinking kind of don't like that thing so I think I'm gonna go in and I am going to stamp a bit on it because when you take out your stuff it's looking too plain okay so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna stamp on it like that yeah and I don't like also the fact that this is um, going up because all three are going up so I think I'm going to turn this around. Turn this on its side like that. And then put this here. Yeah. Turn it like that. Yeah, that looks better. Turn this on its side. Thankfully, because it's so hot here, this glue like kind of dried even before it properly hit the paper. 
like that that over there and then we got that washi there like that and then let's just stamp some stuff over here okay now this is going to be interesting let's see i'm going to add this here because we don't want to i wasn't planning on actually adding anything here so in actual fact if now on, on the second one i would say before we glue it down because it looks plainer than i thought it was going to look come on this thing is so um what's shiny that it's just moving around okay and then what i think i'm gonna do is they'll take another stamp that can actually fit in here this without the stamp pad and then just maybe add it there like that yeah that's better okay like that so it is a bit darker but that's okay too right so that's that now we can play around with this side if we want to but add on this side but I think I'm fine I think I'm fine the only thing I don't like is I don't like that 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 edge over there that has those circles on it or not the circles the straight lines so I'm thinking maybe we can pull out something from this tree because these got real little bits and bobs maybe we can find something I don't know I don't know what's here nature maybe the nature we'll use the nature because the others are yellow and stuff like that okay we might use that or oh, what do we have here nope yeah now i want to soften it with something that is not round i mean sorry that is round okay so i think i'm gonna use this one that says nature there because i don't like that edge okay and then we can add this here like that in there all right yep that makes the difference that makes the difference okay so we can even pick it up a little like that okay so they use that over there and i think that, that is fine so what are our loaded pockets what what are we gonna put in it i don't know This will work. And I'm gonna have to go to my other ephemera as well. I think we need bigger ephemera, don't you think so? These are a bit too small. Maybe this will work. That looks nice, that might work. There we go. That will look nice there this one as well because it's got pink on it and then maybe some little bits and bobs over here I don't know nothing over there nothing there yes There we go. Let's turn it around that way. And we can add that there. So that's actually done. There's the loaded pocket. 
don't think I'll have to have two. I think I'm not going to put that one in. I think I'm going to put that one in because I can still see some pink. Let's put that in. And then we can add that in as well. Turn it that way. And let's add that in. Okay, so you got your first loaded pocket done and dusted. I mean envelope, but you can add more to it. Really, you can. I just went in and get some larger ephemera and I'm going to put it on this side of the bed now. Ladies, it's crazy. This desk is busy. Really crazy busy here. Okay, so that's done. Let's take another one. Now this one over here, we make mention of the fact we're going to stamp it inside first. And then we're going to go to the outside, okay? So let's do that. Still gonna work, I think, if I look at it. Maybe let's take the stamp out as well. So in terms of the stamps, I don't have a lot. Okay, so this is the right side. So we should have inked this side. Should have inked here because there's a edge there. Okay, so that's it. So let's put some stamping over here we are using vintage photo but we are using the archival ink okay there okay and then well since we've got it open let's just add here maybe some there and then the field label there okay now we can close it Okay, or we can just do this. You know these are the two, three edges that go up like that. Okay, so we can just ink these as well. So let's do that. So, told you it's an easy project today. Not much thinking and definitely a lot of things to take out, you know. Take this out, take that out and stuff like that. But in terms of an easy project to do, quite easy in the sense that uh, you don't really need to sit and ponder about it. So, uh, or, or do a lot of preparation before you get to it. Preparation is pulling out your stuff, and the preparation is putting it back. Well, um, you know, prep, when I say putting it back, prepare to neaten up your craft place, or be prepared to neaten up your craft place after you are done with this kind of a project. Of course, it can get busy. I see these days I'm doing a lot of projects that that require me to get my craft space very untidy. But the reason why I am doing that, and I want to tell you why, because you must be wondering, Santhony, where are you and where have you moved? Because you doing things a bit differently. I'll tell you. It takes quite some time to prepare YouTube videos. You know, like have everything perfect and stuff like that. And sometimes that's also not the reality, okay? The reality is that you uh, you either don't have the time to do it, so you do prepare to a certain degree, and then after that it's like, uh, okay, I'm gonna wing it a little bit because I kind of know what I wanna do, and uh, then, yeah, so. And then it also shows you that, uh, listen, uh, you know, I hear many people saying, oh, but people's tables are so neat. Not true. This is this is how most YouTubers craft. Not everybody, but I can tell you that when we're working alone, this is what we do. Of course, it's the freedom. I want to put this one here. I don't put this one here because I want to put that there. So they kind of match, but let's see how we're going to put it. 
because I don't want to don't want to put it okay so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna lose the the top buds because I don't want that edge there and I want to lose some of this here okay so want to kind of add it like that and then just a bit of this one here as well I know what you're saying you took that perfectly nice image and what did you do with it but don't worry don't worry all that gets used okay so something like that there like that sorry if I'm not in frame don't know why I went off frame something like that there okay and then label time um, so I'm just gonna stick with this these labels here let's go with the green this time okay or don't know <clears throat> just like that maybe yeah I like that one better okay and then should we add something else yeah we know we don't have small little um, items there that are going to help us we want to kind of do that but then we want to add a little bit more over here okay although I mean that looks perfectly fine to me um, let's see let's look for a butterfly this time where's the butterflies have they flown away no that's flowers um don't know where's my butterflies sorry for the door opening and closing I lost my butterflies guys yep. they flew but they just couldn't escape <laughs> so maybe a nice butterfly no I don't know like I feel that pink butterfly is going with the flower but it's definitely not going with that so I might change that up. I might go with the red one. So now you see the thinking process. Not that I'm perfect, but you fall from it. I learn from everybody. Then, yeah. So that butterfly blends in a bit more there and we can add some washi no problem but wait let's take some prettier washi to use uh, don't know maybe let's take that thicker washi Let's see what happens if we use that. Okay, so this piece is first. Let's ink these pieces. Yeah, so. Can't remember whether I asked you whether, you know, if you were having a great week ahead. I mean week. And I think I did, but I'm going to ask it again. I hope, or oh, I'm going to. To hope that you all had a lovely weekend I mean lovely week and that you are ready to start the weekend and relax a bit um, so what am I planning to do this weekend let me tell you 
Um, I am planning to do my design team, okay? Um, where I'm going to do the flyer or the poster or what advert. I don't know what you call it, okay? Announcement. That's the word. The announcement to to um, announce my uh, design team members. But I don't want to tell you who they are in this video because I want to give them a proper, you know, announcement. But I have, um, how many, uh, one, I have four, four lovely ladies, four lovely ladies that are going to be joining the design team. Um, and, uh, yes, they're going to be, uh, using my creations to be able to, um, you know, do, do some videos and do some journals and stuff like that. And, um, you, uh, I think a few of them even have, um, YouTube channels. So you definitely won't be, um, out in, you know, I mean, you would probably have seen them as well. And then also I want to um, release my new kit for Valentine's and it's called Love Me Tinder. So for those of you that are watching this video, that kit will probably go up on Etsy tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Mm. What am I pondering? I don't like that straight edge that's coming through over there. So I'm pondering that. If you just want, you know, wondered, what am I doing? I'm doing that. And let's see what I have here. Oh, this is pretty. And I think he'll do one more. Because I know my family is waiting for me to have supper with them. We'll do one more of the small ones. And I'm thinking, let's add this here, like that. And then, oh, let's add this here, like that. Like that. And then let's add our butterfly there like that. Okay, but I don't know now. This one might be a little too busy for what I want. I got a rose one here. Let's add that there. And then that butterfly there. Okay, so what's the order of stuff here? The rose first. Yeah, so that's what's happening today. I mean this week in my life. Um, butterfly. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to cut my hair cut and color my hair tomorrow guys what if i tell you it's been one year since i went to the hairdresser will you believe me yep if you see the condition of my hair you probably will it's gone so long mm. someone saw well on my facebook group Sunny creates strong channels. If you want to know what I look like, <laughs> here's the picture there. But I'm not photogenic. So it, am I vain in saying that when I take out photos, they are not a true reflection of how I look? Um, I just don't come out nice in photos at all. But that sounds a bit vain, okay? But it is true. That's why I don't take out photos. But there is a special photo there on my Facebook group with one of my very close 
friends in the junk journaling world. Um, yeah. And we've got a photograph of both of us when we met. The lovely Karen Monica. Or Karen Monica. And she gave me a beautiful present. She's a metal tape artist. And I am need to still put a photograph of that <laughs> onto um, onto Facebook to show you the beautiful work that she does and how blessed I am to have that gift. Right, and a butterfly to go in. Like that. Something like that. Oh, how cute is that? Right there. There we go. And we probably will add one more to it. Uh, let's do that quickly. I've got quite a few bits and bobs over here that I cut out. I don't know who's this from. Why do I have a feeling that was from G.I. Kerr? I think it might be from G.I. Kerr. Also this one here. Loaded pocket number two. There we go. Pocket number two done and dusted. And now we've got the little itsy bitsy ones that we need to sort out. So pocket number one, pocket number two. Yeah, and I'll probably, you know, there's a whole lot of things I did over the week. Um, and the two other videos I did over the week where I, um, I just want to make more of them and put them away. So I've got the stuff lying out here and I want to actually put them away uh, I mean I want to make them and then put the items off away into my ephemera box so I'm getting quite a nice collection now because I am following a uh, uh, what's this a challenge where you make ephemera okay now how itty bitty is this one what what do okay what does andrea and uh Cam camellia cross andrea from artie mays and julie from camellia cross what do they say they have such a cute word dinky dinky no i don't know ditty ditty i'm sure andrea says ditty for something really tiny uh, something like that. Well, there's it, a ditty. It does need a ditty one. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not from the UK. I'm not sure whether all of you know. Because quite a few people send me messages to ask me where I'm from because of my, um, my accent. It's different, of okay. Am I right? It's different. Okay. And the reason why it's different is because I live in South Africa. Yeah, South Africa. I live in South Africa, ladies and gents. So I will sound like a South African. But if you know anything about South Africa, you also know that it is referred to as the Rainbow Nation. So I don't. The, the people in South Africa sound different okay so um, depends on your race and where you were brought up and your parents and how they speak whatever so I'm a South African but I, and I'm an Indian but I don't speak like an Indian from India I speak like a South African Indian okay <laughs> now by that might sound a little weird. 
uh, because, uh, you know, or some people might find it offensive that I'm saying I'm an Indian, but I don't speak like an Indian. I mean, I don't speak like an Indian from India, okay, because they speak, they, they sound a little bit different. Like how me, being a South African Indian in South Africa, I sound a bit different, okay? So, too big, too big, too big, too big. My word, are we ever going to find anything so little for this? Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I don't know. What's in here? Guys, I don't know. That's why I had to pick up so many stuff. So, but so many. No, too big. In fact, that will go in here like that. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we'll keep these for that. Okay, but what about... Uh, I swear I'm going to break these packets. Because I'm already halfway there. I'm trying to get a little one out. What about this one? Oh... Gosh, it is so difficult. This one there. Maybe that one. Oh, this one's too big. Okay. I think I might go for this one. I like it. Okay. But before we do that, we should have... Ta-da! But look at this. Look, watch this. One stamp one color and it will take up the entire stuff like that oh how cute better than I thought okay cool bananas done okay and then on this one let's let's use some of our page if we can find it in this mess so how many of you clean up your craft space I'm not gonna say craft room okay how many of you clean up your craft space like the area you work on every time you craft okay I'm gonna admit I used to and then I was like I'll come back tomorrow which I normally would have come back tomorrow because, um, uh, you know, I would have come back. Like, you know, like today would be a typical day where I say, mm, I'm probably going to craft tomorrow, so I'll come back tomorrow, okay? And then, so that was one at one stage. And then the other one was, well, I'm at that point now because it was blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. Uh, tears, I think I even... <laughs> Well, not tears. Okay, not tears. Pain. Um, to be able to get this craft room in the state I want it to be in. And then, um, so now I am definitely, oh man, I put the wrong color. Let's take this out. Can we take it out? Yep, we can. Because that's pink. We don't want pink. Let's take green. Now, I am so lazy, guys. I got ladies. I don't know why I call you guys, so I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I don't know what happened to me. Maybe it's because I work with a lot of men. So I'm always saying, guys, guys, guys. So excuse me, it was not intended to call you a guy. Okay, ladies, beautiful ladies. Um, where was I? No idea. Yeah, blood, sweat, and tears. And uh, to get this craft on where I want it to be, or not where I want it to be, because it's not pretty. 
or anything of the sort. It is functional. I have been blessed with a very big craft room. But having said that, I work daily from home. I was almost going to give up okay almost going to give up and then finally I got it finally got it I was going to stick it just like that but the reason why I didn't want to stick it like that is because I did not want that you know that kind of solid thick edge to to stick out there I didn't want that to happen So now, I glue this envelope shut. I did too. Let's bring it more down. That's better. Here we go. Sorry, but I really don't like how that washi looks over there. Really. It's like, it's not working for me. So, that's better. That is so much better. Okay, I didn't like it. Okay, so what are we going to put in this one here? Oh, that's cute. Because it also takes the shape of the envelope. Look at that. Okay, so maybe two of that. Like that. See. I wish I had something. I do. I'm sure I do. Mm. Uh. Here. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Maybe not the color I want. What about the 74? That would work. It's in red. Too big. No. Yes, 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 yes. What do we have here? These little bits. What about that one? That one over there. Or that one. Let's add that there. Okay. Let's see if we got a red. Yeah, we do. Where did all this come from? Well, this is what I was going to use. There we go. How did all this come out? Me, me. I, oh, the other day I placed it upside down. Okay, so that's that there. Okay, let's add this here. There. And there we go. We've got a few more to do. But I think I've kept you way too long. Uh, so I'm going to let you go. But there's some loaded pockets. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up a few more. And then I'm going to come back after supper. And show you what we're doing. I mean, what we've done. How's that? Okay, so. Now the desk is a mess. So please excuse that. Uh, I really pulled out everything. Not everything. Quite a bit of stuff. In order to be able to work with it. And yep, 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 yep. That's it. So what do we have? If we have to clear our desk. Just here. Let's say here. So we've got these two so far that we made on camera. 
and then I'll make a few more and then I'll post still pictures of it but yeah so there's the loaded um, envelopes that you can then make into pockets glue and embellish uh, items and um, have fun with it so if you want to you know if you don't have an envelope punch board or anything of that sort then remember I have a video that shows you how to make different types of envelopes and they uh, 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 um, so I think it's called how to make custom envelopes or making custom envelopes or whatever I will link it to the uh, process and then you can go ahead and make your own as well so I hope you had fun and uh, I hope you have an awesome weekend I will probably see you tomorrow Sunday to introduce my Etsy kit but otherwise I'll see you back on Monday for another process video take care everybody lots of love from me Santhony at Sunny Creates bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.